Good evening. This is Akash Bani. The news read by Shubhashachi Vatacharji. Campaigning for seventh and last phase of Lok Sabha elections will end this evening. 57 parliamentary constituencies spread over seven states and one union territory will go to polls in this phase on 1st of June. These include 13 seats each in Uttar Pradesh and Punjab, 9 in West Bengal, 8 in Bihar, 6 in Orissa, 4 in Himachal Pradesh, 3 in Jharkhand, and 1 seat in the Union Territory of Chandigarh. 42 assembly seats in Orissa will also go to polls in this phase simultaneously. A total of 904 candidates are in the fray for 57 Lok Sabha seats. Top leaders of various political parties are leaving no stone unturned to woo the voters. Prime Minister and senior BJP leader Narendra Modi addressed an election rally in Hoshiarpur town of Punjab. He accused Congress and the India Alliance of appeasement and vote bank politics. Mr. Modi said that for the sake of vote bank, Congress continuously opposed the construction of Ram Temple and also opposing Citizenship Amendment Act car. Prime Minister said his government will not allow anyone to snatch away the reservations of Dalits, OBCs and backward classes and give it to Muslims only. In a remarkable achievement, IIT Madras' startup Agnikul Cosmos has launched the world's first rocket with a single-piece three-dimensional 3D printed engine. The rocket Agniban sorted Suborbital Technological Demonstrator is also India's first semi-cryogenic engine-powered rocket launch that was completely designed and manufactured indigenously. It was also launched from India's first privately developed launch pad called Dhanush, established by Agnikul at Sri Hari Kota in Andhra Pradesh at 7.15 a.m. today. India Meteorological Department, IMD, has informed that the southeast monsoon has set in over Kerala and advanced into most parts of northeast India today. Monsoon has arrived two days ahead of the normal onset date of 1st June. Talking to Akashbani News, IMD Director General Mrithunja Mahapatra said that conditions are favorable for onset of monsoon in remaining parts of South India, including Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Puducherry in the next two to three days. On heatwave, IMD informed that intensity of heat of conditions is likely to reduce from today. Dr. Mahapatra said that due to the approaching southwesterly winds, rain and thunder shower is expected over northwest India. Due to extreme heat conditions, Delhi Fire Department received 220 calls about fire yesterday, which is a record high in a day in the country, except on the day of Diwali festival. These calls include fair incidents of worst dumping sites, air conditions, electric meter and wear, and among others. Talking to Akashbani News, Delhi Fire Department Director Atul Garg said that the number of fire calls has increased up to 25% this year as compared to last year. He added, in view of predictions of heat conditions this year, the department had already taken major steps and prepared to control any incident. Mr. Garg said that if people followed some steps, the number of fire incidents may decrease. President Draupadi Murmu has greeted people of Goa on their statehood day today. In a social media post, the president said that the people of Goa are known for their progressive values and hospitality. She said Goa has made remarkable progress on several human development indices. Enforcement Director TD has attached properties worth over 291 crore rupees belonging to companies of amusement parks located at Great India Place Mall in Noida, Rohini area in Delhi, and Dolatpur village in Jaipur. The properties have been attached under the provisions of Prevention of Money Laundering Act, PMLA. In Chess, Pragana Nanda toppled Magnus Carlsen for the first time in classical event. The 18-year-old Indian prodigy took down the world number one with the white pieces in the third round of Norwich's 2024. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.